Welcome back, everybody. Well, after that farrago I had about placing the souvenir shop down last time, I logged in expecting a bit of a fight. I managed to place it immediately, so I'm not quite sure what happened last time, but welcome back. As you can see, I have completed my silver objectives, and there's been a load of blabbing, they've been doing a load of blabbing, about introducing new species and not mixing lions and antelopes, which actually sounds like a really fun thing to do for me, but anyway. So I've got to put some extra bits in here and it's chucking it down with rain, just like it is outside. I was about to go for a walk and then um, it exploded. So I'm getting kind of 3D surround sound and uh, a nice cool air. Meanwhile, people's balloons are going flying as well, which is hilarious. I love those balloons. I have to say though, that they're not very transparent, are they? Wow, that is some rain. That is some rain. Yikes, I'm amazed anybody's here at all. But are they buying umbrellas? Because if they are, <laughs> result. So the next thing I need to do is add some species to the zoo, which means mixing different things together without them eating each other. <laughs> I could make them eat each other. That is some serious rain, flipping heck. They don't do things by halves in the weather here, do they? Right, as we all know, I'm terrible at this. Like, really, really tell her at this. So I'm just going to replay the dialogue and see if she advised anything other than not mixing antelopes and whatnot. Back as promised. Right. I'd like you to increase the number of different species in the zoo. Now, you can find out what species are already in your zoo by going into the zoo section and then into the animals area. And if you're wondering how you're going to fit them all in then mixed species habitats are a great way to save space and create interesting habitats. Just make sure to check the Zoopedia to find out which species enjoy living together. E.g. don't mix lions with antelopes. I'm just wondering what else I could mix with antelopes because I've got an antelope here. What could I put in here? The Zoopedia. Zoopedia. She's not pointing to the Zoopedia like she usually does. That's a bit concerning. There it is, Zoopedia. Found it. I <laughs> just found it. I didn't honestly not know what, what, where that was. So can I put an aardvark in with an antelope? Natural habitat, species data, interspecies enrichment. It doesn't benefit from sharing space. Do any of them? Ooh, buffalo. Buffalo and antelope. Buffalo and antelope. Oh! <gasps> Buffalo and antelope. Right, I reckon I could get a buffalo in there, right? So if I go to the illegal animal trading market and I go to get a buffalo, I don't know how I find that. Animal market is the researchy bit. I can see warthogs. I can see flamingos. I want buffalo. I'm assuming they'd be here in B. I mean, I might be assuming something that's completely wrong. Can I mix birds together as well? That would be... that'd be good. How about crocodiles and wolves? That sounds like my kind of zoo. Can I put a flamingo in with the antelopes? Hmm. I think I'm supposed to do some reading here, aren't I? Right, I can... I can get, like, flamingos and stuff. So what... you? What, what can I mix in with flamingos. A giant desert hairy scorpion, maybe. I don't want bird-eating spiders, that's disgusting. Yuck. Let's hope that none of it is about tarantulas and things. I don't want to do that. We won't be looking at them closely. Antelope. A reticulated giraffe. Zebra. Wildebeest. Ost ostriches. Spring box. What I could do with is a button, take me to the animal market, uh, the things that, that mix with them. So, got to remember, wildebeest, ostriches, warthogs, giraffes, spring bogs and zebras. <laughs> like I'm going to remember that. Right, what we got? Not wolves and crocodiles. Pandas. Other kinds of antelope. Would other kinds of antelope be good? Peafowls. You do get kind of random birds, so you get random birds in areas. Wildebeest. Why is everything crocodiles and panthers and, uh, uh, what do you call it? It's, uh, wolves. Not pandas, wolves. We could just try putting a peafowl in there, see what happens. Turtles. It said something, it said... It was it was a particular kind of wildebeest, wasn't it? It wasn't a black wildebeest, it was a something else wildebeest. 
I'm sure all this has been set up so that I can quite deliberately pop stuff in. I'm really tempted to just shove it just shove it somewhere. Should we just see? This animal is being adopted for cash. I shall adopt for cash. Send it to the zoo. There we go. Let's <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> they might kill each other, which would be amazing. It's very dark though, isn't it? You can't see a thing. In fact, why are they even here if it's so dark? You fools. wonder what I can mix in as well with my other... I did like little, um, what you call it, you know, little tanks. I can't remember where I put them now. It's very, very complicated <laughs> because I'm terrible at it. Beds and shelters, food and water, heaters and enrichment items. I can't remember what I did last time. I built a sort of a, a little tanky thing. It was a little tanky thing. It was an exhibit, wasn't it? I constructed an exhibit, but dear lord, I can't remember where anything is. Centerpieces, art shape, art shapes. <gasps> My wildebeest has turned up. I hope it's all right. I bet it isn't. <laughs> bet it isn't. Bet it's thinking, why, why am I here? It needs some long grass. It needs some long grass. I'm sure I can give it some long grass if I can remember how to. Habitat? Was it like habitat? Food and water, heaters and coolers, beds and shelters, enrichment items? Was it nature? God, I just can't remember. It's terrible, isn't it? Rocks, plants, gardening. It needs long grass. And I can't remember where long grass is. That's not great. Oh, there we go. Right, just click on that. Right, if, what if I give it a little corner of long grass, right? Just enough. Just enough for it to be happy. And then it can go and sit in this corner. And everything else cannot. There we go. Happy now? It looks happy. There we go. It's going towards its long grass. That's good, I think. That's good. Coverage, 31%. It requires less plant and tree coverage. Well, what if it just hangs about in its long grass? I could always delete some trees. Can I delete some trees? Auto paint. Auto paint. How do I delete the tree? Tree. Oh, hello. Oh, this is grouped though. It's grouped. Enter group edit mode. God, this is really... Oh, there we go. Okay, right. Delete the tree. Delete that tree. And let's see what happens now. How are you now? How are you now? Are you happy? No, it's now saying that it doesn't have enough short grass. That's the other thingy. Is that the other thingy saying it hasn't got enough short grass now? Oh, man. That's a bit of a balancing act, isn't it? <laughs> that seems to be all green, but it probably needs another one. Too few adults and juveniles. In other words, it's lonely. So I need another one. Wildebeest. Wildebeest. Send to zoo. There we go. I don't know whether that's going to work or not. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. <laughs> anyway, nothing's eaten each, each other yet, so that's good. All right, how many species have I have I actually got? How do I how do I see visiting player alerts? Get out! Get out! They've got all these people visiting me. Get out! Everybody's happy as well. Zoo. Zoo overview. Finances, animals, animals. So, how many species have I got? I've got giant tortoises, tapirs, wildebeest, pangolins, that's four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I've got sixteen, so I need three more species. Give contraceptives to this animal. <laughs> really? Oh, God. Yikes. Right. Did she say I had to have 18? Or 19? 18. Then. So, oh, there we go. It's there. So I need two more species. And if I could remember how the hell to put in one of those uh, exhibit things, I would so do that. 
because then we could have some frogs and some anacondas. I just can't remember how to do it, which is really embarrassing. Beds and shelters, food and water, enrichment, toys, climbables, no. Facilities, construction blueprints. I, I can't remember anything about anything at all. Architecture, signs, props, centrepieces, art shapes, special effects, blueprints. Yeah, got a few things here, haven't we? Trade centre, vet, surgery. Lots of shelters, some East Asian walled gardens. How lovely. Anyway, none of that is what I want. Although I do quite fancy a flower pagoda. Can't lie. Very lovely. Okay, so I need to find where those exhibit things were so I can have a load of snakes and stuff because that seems like the easiest way of doing this. Damn it. Can't remember how to do it. Search topics. Exhibits. Exhibits. Setting up exhibits. Yes. The following must be present for an exhibit to be functional. Yes, that's great, but where are they? Exhibits. They can be found in the browser under facilities, small animal exhibits. Facilities. Well, of course. Small animal exhibits. Small anim animal exhibits. Exhibit. Large, small, should just have some small ones. And pop them here. Yeah. And she'll have another one. There. Excellent. Right. And then I'm going to put some snakes in them. I don't know what snakes need. So I'll just buy them and then see what happens. Have the snakes disappeared? Or have I ordered this the other way around? Can I have some pea fowls just knocking about, incidentally? You know, like they do, don't they? They just... They just mess around in my experience we've got a giant tortoise can i put a giant tortoise in the exhibit probably not because they're massive aren't they where have all my snakes gone there's somebody nicked off with my snakes that's no good or have i sorted these in a way that I... No, it's any species. Well, that's annoying. I just want to let some peafowls loose. That's all I want to do. Right, none of those can go in an exhibit, can they? How frustrating. Oh, no, hang on a minute. Sorry, sorry. Ooh, ooh, we don't want those. Exhibit trading is a different section. Duh. Oh, well, I can have my scorpions then. Let's have some scorpions. A giant forest scorpion. That sounds like a plan. And then let's have a yellow anaconda because they're cheap. I'm sure you know by now how to make your animals happy. I don't. So you'd best get that sorted before the inspector gets you. What? Sorry, did I not mention there was an inspector coming? Terrific. Oh dear. Great. Looks like you've got everything humming away nicely. Well I done. haven't. I've got an unhappy scorpion, which isn't good. Oh, well. It seems that with our new pandas and other species, we've attracted lots and lots of new guests. Let's work on making sure those guests are kept happy. That means making sure they have great views of the animals, lots of places to buy food and drink, and, well, lots of places to get rid of food and drink. Yes, but I need to... How do I... You should think carefully about where Damn to it. put your guest facilities, though. For instance, don't put all of the food shops in the same place. I can't remember Just how to do the stupidity thing. Get around the park and put your facilities where they'll be needed the most. Uh -huh. right. As right. long as you remember to pay attention to what the guests are thinking, you'll soon have a handle on what everyone wants. Right, I've, I found out how to do this now completely by accident, but it's okay. I was a bit concerned there about giving scorpions contraceptives. That's terrifying. Like, genuinely terrifying. Okay, so the humidity is now kind of at the lower end, so let's, that, let's shove that up. That all looks right now. That all looks good. That looks good. I did a thing and I did it properly. Awesome. Right. So now it's only partially providing enrichment features. So what enrichment features does a giant forest scorpion need? Uh, it's an excellent question. I don't know. Right, I want to buy enrichment features for my scorpion. 
Maintenance, finances. Actually, is anybody maintaining it? <laughs> I have no zookeepers assigned to a work zone containing this habitat. That's not good, is it? I need to, I need to assign a work zone to my area. I just can't remember how to. Oh god, this is so confusing. Um, because I don't want to end up with dead scorpions. That's not going to be good for me, is it? Staff, keeper, hire a keeper. Hire two keepers, why not? Let's have two. And then... How do I... How do I... Work zone manager. Work zone manager. New work zone. Yes. Containing those things. And I need a staff room in my work zone as well. God, that means I've got to find staff rooms! Habitat nature facilities. Is it in facilities? Staff facilities. Eight, 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 eight. A quarantine workshop keeper hut keeper hut. I imagine they probably want a keeper hut. Oh God, we're into like the whole rotation thing here, aren't we? What if I put it there under the tree? Keep hut, and then vet surgery staff room. Yes, 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 yes. Put a staff room in, and put in a veterinary surgery, because then if my snakes get sick, we'll be okay. Yeah. Is, th is this correct? Am I doing it right? <laughs> oh god. Right, so... Um, right, keeper. I don't want to hire a keeper because I've just hired a load of keepers. Right, so... We've got Adriana thingamajig here. You could, you could be in this work zone if you want. Yeah? Is this good? Um, I think that's good. Is that right? Oh, I've just accidentally created another one, I think. But is that okay now? Is she is she doing the thing? Work zone 15 has one habitat, two buildings and a staff room. Six sorry, six buildings. I thought it had I thought it had two thingy. Oh well that looks right anyway. God, I hope that's right, because otherwise I'm gonna end up with dead snakes. Right, snakes, how are you? Oh, they're not good at all. Right, why is this? It's because their temperature is all wrong. So let's shove the temperature up. And let's shove the humidity up. Actually, they like it really humid by those things. A little bit more? A little bit more? Are we good? No, we're still not good. God, they like it very particular, don't they? More humid. Okay, that looks, that looks good. And then the layout... The layout's not so good for them, but I don't know actually how to adjust the layout properly. I need like enrichment thingies, don't I? Enrichment bits. And I can't remember where enrichment bits are either. It's really... I'm sure if I was sitting this and just playing through it, I'd get there in the end, but... Food enrichment? Food enrichment? Sparrow feeders. Are these for... These don't look like they're really for these sorts of animals though. Do they like blocks of frozen fruit? Would you like a block of frozen fruit? No, I don't think they would. I don't think they would. Hmm. I wish that you could just click on that and it would tell you what you could put in it. Hmm. Habitat toys. I don't think they really want any of that, do they? Although you could imagine that snakes would quite like climbable things. Oh no, I don't want any more of those. Hmm. I just feel bad because like I've, I've brought them in and I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> right, how do I... I don't know how to... how to enrich this. Oh, this... I, I don't remember what I did last time. Oh, this is really bad. Climb a branch of four metres sounds like it's massive, doesn't it? All. Can I do like a filter on... Um, oh yeah, filter on species. So what if I filter on... Giant thingamajig. I don't think they're in there, are they? Jack, is there a different tab for enriching exhibits? Oh, that's not good. Because I don't remember what they are and now I feel guilty because I'm only partially providing enrichment feeders to my yellow anaconda. Damn it! Ugh. Open the heat maps. Open the heat maps. T 
turn on the guest needs heat map. I hope they don't need anything. Excuse me, then what do I need to do? Improve the zoo, open the guest, place a chief beef. I can do that. I can do that. I think. Construction? No, it's not construction, is it? Oh, it's facilities. Facilities. Guest facilities. Food. Chief beef. Yeah. Because I could put it down here next to the snakes. Chief beef and a cosmic cow milkshake as well. Oh god, where is cosmic cow milkshake? There! Next door. Place an information centre. Information centre. Next to the snakes. Nope, nope, I can't put it in. I can't put it in there. Oh god, I'm going to have problems with me, with me rotation again, aren't I here? <laughs> I'm so bad at this, it's not true. Down here somewhere, maybe? I'm not, I know this isn't particularly attractive. Terrain modification failed. That's the, the problem that I had last time. Right, I want to, I want to rotate. I always forget how to rotate. Rota rota rotation to world access. Ac ac axis. Toggle from translate to rotate. Oh, it's all going wrong again. Oh. How am I so bad at this? How am I so bad at this? I need to turn that off, off that heat map because I can't see a bloody thing. Oh my god, now I definitely can't see a bloody thing. Right, facilities, information centre, next to me snakes. Yeah? Place a toilet block. Toilet block. Toilet block? Where? Where's good for a toilet block? Here? Has that, has that gone in okay? It sort of has, but I don't know. There's, oh, I think I've just put that in a... <laughs> I think I might just put that in a, an area they can't get at. So let's try that again. I can't actually see a bloody thing while it's night time. Let's get rid of that. Try again. Try again. Right, for, I don't want to be editing a, a group, do I? I just want a, I just want a toilet block. There! There. Then place five bins. Bins. Bins, benches and security. There we go. Let's have some funky East Asia bins. One. Two. One next to me exhibit so that you're not getting rubbish around my, around my snakes. One there. And also one here. And then also benches. Okay, let's pop a bench there. Perhaps I should pop a bench next to my scorpions. These trees are in the way. <laughs> These trees are very much in the way. There we go. Perhaps you'd like some benches here. I think I accidentally placed a bin next to a bin, but it's fine. Almost here. Now. I fully expect you to pass with flying colours. I don't because I can't work out how to do the exhibit thing. I have to organise a little job exchange scheme for you with whoever's mucking out the pandas. I can't remember how to adjust the layout of my exhibit, so they're going to get mad because my snakes aren't happy and my scorpions are probably escaping. Oh, how frustrating. I genuinely cannot remember how to do this. Layout options are unlocked through vet research. Vet research, right. Oh god, vet research. <laughs> oh god, I'm doomed. Vet research. I'm just I don't know I don't know how I'm remembering this to be honest. Right, forest scorpion. I want to assign a vet. So assign you to forest scorpions. I'm just remembering this through some amazing brain thing going on. Right, and assign you to anacondas. Right, that's good, that's good, that's good. Can I put more than one in at once, incidentally? Because this is Dolores, but does Dolores want a, a friend? Or will they get mad if I put another one in? It's kind of difficult to know, isn't it? Right, I've got, a, I've got somebody assigned to this as well. So that's good. They're not going to die, they're not going to die. 
So now I need to pass an inspection with an overall star rating of 2.5. Is that the inspector who is en route to giant pandas? Oh man. <laughs> Mercifully, the inspector is not going to come near my exhibits, which is a bit of a relief. And I think everything is okay. I'm sure there must be a good way of seeing whether everything is okay. Wealth, oh yeah, there we go. Welfare, welfare, welfare is all good by the looks of things. All good. It's all green. Phew! Phew! Well, I feel better about that now. This is very beautiful at night. It's just quite difficult to tell what you're doing. I can see people going in my toilets. I can see that people visiting my scorpions are going to also get some information. I do feel like I should put more scorpions in, but maybe I should wait until my uh, my layout is a bit better. It's also very confusing. I'm sure if I started a park from scratch, I would probably kill everything very, very quickly indeed. But at least I did manage to do it. So you can come up the bridge, you can come up here and go into my general exhibits area, which is good. And there's a huge queue for the food, which is also good. I like the way that those have come out. Whew. Phew. Oh, it's exhausting. Should we have a look at the scorpion, though? quite fancy a look at the scorpion. We won't be having a look at the spiders. I probably won't even have spiders because <laughs> I don't like them. I bet I'll have to have them at some point though. What's the betting? I don't want, actually I don't want all get camera do I? I want animal camera but to get animal camera I have to find the bloody thing. God knows. I mean half the time you can't see them can you in real life? Amruta. God knows where Amruta is. Camera. It's in here somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's there. <laughs> oh, it's there. It's halfway up the tree. That's cool. Sorry if you don't like scorpions. We're not getting too close to it. The weird thing is, I'm okay with scorpions, but not spiders. Go figure. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't want them in my house or anything, but... Oh, it looks... It looks happy. I'm sure it's... I'm sure it's happy. The idea of giving contraceptives to scorpions just... Uh, is just weird, but... <laughs> I'm assuming that they're just like messing around on their own. Social group is balanced. But I don't know whether the social group would also be balanced in the event that I uh, put in another one. I don't know. Are scorpions loners? Do they enjoy other scorpions? It's difficult to know. Anyway, Merry Christmas, by the way. It's, uh, I've just noticed that Christmas has passed. I'm not quite sure why an inspection would be going on while it's Christmas, but... My inspector is taking quite a long time to get round. Is there... You're still en route to the giant panda? I thought you were on right route to the giant panda before. Maybe I should speed things up a bit. Get round the giant panda quick, please. Giant panda is good. Giant panda's good. Nice little sculpture -y bit there. I didn't put that there. There's loads of room, isn't there, for other things. Loads of room, but I probably shouldn't fiddle. I should probably just let the inspector do their job. I hope I am getting all of this right. It's it's really confusing. My vet research is complete. That was going to be my next question. <gasps> I've unlocked a research level for the yellow anaconda. Awesome. Can we do another one? Can we research them even more? Or could we perhaps research the, the pandas? Do I have any vets who could research for pandas? Are both of you doing things at the moment or not? I'll just research for other animals as well because I feel I feel bad that, that I haven't done that. <laughs> oh, the forest scorpion is also researched. That's good. Can I research level two for a forest scorpion? Or perhaps I should research for other things? I don't know. It's all it's all highly confusing. So are both of these already researching? They've both got little bubbles next to their names. I don't know. There we go. Let's research that. Because I kind of feel like my scorpions need to be happier. My scorpion. Singular. Right, let's have a look. Layout. Ah, oh, there we 
there we go. Let's have a, a long wide trunk and a thin smooth branch and a, a thin long log. So the layout is good now. That's good. That's good. Let's do the same for the anaconda. Tropical plant A and, and B and I've done something. Yes! You know, I really can't believe just how much you've come on during our time together. <laughs> it goes to show, Bernie's got a keen eye for talent. Oh, and speaking of Bernie, he's not finished with you yet. He's got a new job for you in Canada. What? I get the feeling that you'd best pack a warm coat. Oh, listen, it's been wonderful getting to know you, and I'm sure we'll meet again. But in the meantime, good luck. Is that the end of Nancy, then? Is that the end of Nancy? Is that it? Do I never have to hear from her again? Oh, that's amazing. That oh, uh oh. On the faces of all of the guests. And that's a real testament to the hard work you've put into this place. And the scorpions. Anything, scorpions are happy too. The animals look even happier. If they could smile, they'd be smiling. Yes, yeah, smiling Although, scorpions. In all honesty, it's, it's hard to tell with the pandas. They're so uh, <laughs> enigmatic. So are the scorpions. Now, I'm told that Linlin's quite the character, though. Oh, oh, she's really been a hit with the visitors. You could even say the business is bam booming. <laughs> oh God, Bernie, I can't stand you. When do I get rid of you? We might even be able to feature pandas at some of my other zoos. Now that you've shown everyone, we know how to cater for their welfare. I shouldn't be surprised, though. After all, you've become a very capable trainee zoo manager. I haven't. I'm just guessing. I suspect there isn't a single task I could throw at you which you wouldn't handle with a plan. I hate to tell you this, That's Bernie, it. but um, I think I you're think overestimating me here. Because my scorpions were a bit accidental, ultimately. It was a bit accidental, Bernie, to be honest. Oh boy. Right, okay. What's he got for me next, then? What has he got for me next? And how do I get there? Actually, no, seriously, how do I get there? Because I don't actually know how to move on from this. <laughs> oh dear. That's a bit problematic. Um, <laughs> How do I move on, Bernie? Because I've got gold on all of this, which is amazing. And I don't really know how I did it. And now I don't know how to move on. I shall save my zoo. Because I'm... I'm quite amazed that I didn't bring everything down. I'm surprised everything isn't on fire. We shall exit to the main menu. And then hopefully... We can move on. To Canada! Join me in the next episode!